So when we're talking about time, the most important things that you need to learn in fourth grade are first of all, um, how to read a clock. Hopefully you already know how to do that. But also what is counterclockwise and what does clockwise mean? So clockwise, if it ever says rotate it clockwise, clockwise is just the way that a clock normally rotates, which is always to the right. So it goes from one to two to three to four to five to six. Counterclockwise, counter just means like opposite. So opposite of clockwise. So if clockwise is right, counterclockwise is going to be left. Once you understand what clockwise and counterclockwise is, you have to know how to uh, cut things into quarters. So on this clock, I've cut it into four quarters. So if I imagine this as a circle, which it is, the circle is cut up into four pieces. One piece, two pieces, three pieces, four pieces. So this is one out of all four of the pieces, so that's one fourth. If I do both of these, that's two fourths. If I do three of them, it's three fourths. And if I do four of them, that's four fourths. Two fourths is also equal to one half, because I'm covering one half of the clock. So, say I start at 10 o'clock. There's 10 o'clock. And I'm supposed to figure out what two quarters past 10 o'clock is. So that's one quarter, and that's two quarters. So the time is 10.30. When you're reading a clock, you need to know one very specific thing. If the hour hand, which is the smaller, thicker hand, if the hour hand is in between two numbers, so the 11 and the 10, it's always the smallest number that you read first. So this isn't 11.30, it's 10.30. It's not 11.45, it's 10.45, because the 10 is the first number, not the 11. Even if I get to right there, even though it looks like it's on the 11, it's not. So we haven't passed that 12 or that 60 mark yet. This is 10.59, not 11.59. So always remember, wherever this hour hand is, whatever two numbers it's between, it's always to the one that's, that comes earliest. 